Hello team, greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on our UFT. This is Nirish Kumar Singh and you are watching the UFT series. So uh, today we will be talking about bitmap checkpoint, which is another checkpoint in UFT, which allows you to verify an image pixel by pixel. So when we say pixel by pixel, that even if the same image uh, appears uh, without the right resolution, it will fail and prove you that the image were not same. So generally, we do not face challenges when it comes to desktop application because uh, for a desktop application, the image will be by default loaded and the same resolution and does not require any kind of re recovering and you know calling in the functions or any kind of link. But when it comes to a desktop application which is server-based, uh, there might be problems with that. Other than that, generally we see frequently this problem with the web-based application when may the image may not be clearly loaded with the right set of uh, resolution assigned to it, or maybe generally the image may not be loaded at all. So generally these checkpoints will help you to verify such steps at the point of uh, execution and you can map these objects in the terms of a bitmap checkpoint. So let's quickly get started with bitmap checkpoint and see how exactly this can be done with help of UFT. So we are just quickly getting started with this so and all we need to have is a new test and a new test is taken just because we don't want to have any kind of mess up with the previous settings of the previous test. So it's a good recommendation if you can really take up a new test. So all you need to have with you is an application which contains some image to be verified and click on record. So here we are just recording to capture the uh, image from the application. Otherwise, you can always go with uh, working on your um, you know, manual writing of the scripts. So say OK, and uh, this is the image which we are talking about, the London to Paris all-inclusive, or this image will change now to CTL to San Francisco, all-inclusive with the price. So all we have to do is come down to checkpoints, and this is the option bitmap checkpoint here, which will allow you to capture an image. So click, and then click on the image which you want to capture. So say OK. So whatever image you capture, it will be automatically taken into the consideration, and uh, whatever you click on and capture the image for and say OK. Now all you can do is close the application, stop recording. So here we have got a checkpoint, London to Paris, all, and you know the checkpoint name as well. So let's uh, give him the application and try running the test and see if the checkpoint works for us. So here also the checkpoint uh, will have a timeout which will be given to it. So it will wait for that image to pop up and then uh, it will give you a pass status because I think it takes around eight, te eight seconds to change the image and we have given the timeout as 10 seconds. So as you see, the result has passed here. And uh, let's go to the checkpoint and see what is it. Yep, it says passed. And it says I waited eight seconds out of possible 10 seconds to get it passed. That means the image appeared after eight seconds. So you can even do a time check that is it the new image is getting updated only after eight seconds or before that, or maybe you can reduce the time. No, it should have changed by five seconds. So many things can be done with the help of this checkpoint, but subjected you have a certain objective related to that. As usual, let me show you a failed test of the same checkpoint as well. So for that, all you have to do in this case is go to the object repository and uh, we can fail it not by changing the expected, rather changing by the checkpoint timeout because here the expected is an image and you can really not upload a new image or something. Or if you want, you can crop it. If you see, there are several options when you added a checkpoint. You can use a shape or you can use a ignore option or include option, like whatever you mark, it can exclude that marking or include that marking additionally, or you can zoom in and zoom out. So you can do all other ways to fail this. But what I'm trying to do is I'm giving him three seconds as a timeout to uh, verify the image. So now what happens, like if we know that it takes eight seconds to change the image, but uh, when it comes to uh, this particular checkpoint, it will be validated within three seconds, and of course it will fail. So just close this. You don't really have to save it. And uh, have to open the application again and click on Run. So. The expectation is uh, CTIL to San Francisco, and the actual will be London to Paris. <clears throat> Three seconds up. Yes, it closes now, 
and uh, we will have a failed result here. Yes, it is. And uh, let's go to the checkpoint step to see how exactly we can have the result. Woo, that's nice. So, you know, we can see here that there's expected bitmap and there's actual bitmap and the comparison says, I waited three seconds out of possible three seconds, but it was not loaded the image what you were looking for. And if you want, you can also have a view difference option which will compare the difference, but it is a little difficult uh, to understand that what is the difference between. So it will basically give you the uh, pixel differences in the images. So the blackout part is different than the white part what you see. So the white part is same and the black part is different. But anyways, uh, that can be used in terms of resolution comparison and other things. So thanks for watching team. This video was about bitmap checkpoint. There are some more checkpoints to be covered in this tutorial. So stay tuned for that. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep practicing on UFT. In case you have any queries, feel free to comment it below. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. This will help you to follow my tutorials and updates on the sessions. Till then, take care. Happy learning.